Hi there, Michael Paperno here, and I'm going to show you my quick trick for using Microsoft Word as a teleprompter when you need to read from a script for your speech. So here I just have some dummy text. It's a face, fake script here. I, I like to do one and a half line spacing, and this is great. You know, I could scroll this on the screen and read from it, and that's fine, but let's say I want to make it bigger and I want to use Word's built-in magnification tools. Well, that's great, but now I'm making it bigger and making it bigger. Uh-oh, it's getting cut off. I have to scroll left and right. I don't want that. I want to be able to make it bigger and smaller easily. So there's a trick, and it's called Web View. So if I go up to View here and I do Web Layout, what that does is it changes this into a fluid document that responds to the size of the window. So I never don't have that overflow problems anymore. So I can make it bigger or smaller and everything stays within the window and I don't have that scrolling left to right problem. So that's great. That's what I do first. Then to give myself a little more screen real estate, I hit home here. I think you have to double click on PCs. I'm on the Mac and see how that compacted that ribbon up there. So now I even have more real estate. Now I have these ugly spelling and grammar, so I'm going to go to tools and turn that off. I'm going to say hide spelling errors. So now I have a nice clean script here. And what I do is in order to give my audience eye contact is I move it up to the top where my camera is. So as I'm reading it, I'm not looking down and scrolling, looking down as I scroll. So I have it up to the top. And as I talk, I just scroll, use the script, and I can read the script while still giving them pretty good eye contact. The other thing I do is I don't leave the window real, real wide like this because then my eyes are going to be going left to right and they're going to be able to tell that I'm not giving them eye contact and that I'm reading. So I make it nice and compact like this. Put it right under the camera. Maybe it doesn't need to be that big. And now I have this great teleprompter that I can scroll and read as I present. Now, technological glitches happen. I always recommend that you have a printed copy, but when you can, this is a great way to read your script and give your audience eye contact when you're doing a remote meeting. So again, I collapsed the ribbon with home here. I turned off the spelling and grammar little squiggly so they weren't distracting, and I put it into web layout rather than print layout, which looks like this. I went to web layout. I hope that helps.